Okay, so I'm going to come back here and clean out my uh, objects I just printed or something. So now I'm going to add a DXF because I love working with DXFs. And yeah, let's go with this one. That's a plastic shield. And if you come over here, you'll see that um, I actually have it off my print bed. I'm going to right click and drag it. I'm going to set it up at 10 and 10. So it's about 10 millimeters over. I'm going to zoom in. And I will actually be able to do the offsets on this. There's that. You know, it disappears when it hits the grid line on yep. those two corners there. Okay, and now we're going to go ahead and tell this to give me head. Um, oh, if you don't know which head index it is, just hover over this and it'll pop up and tell you. So you see a 2 laser is currently 13. So you set this to 13 because you're going to run the CO2 laser. I don't need a Z up, Z down. Uh, I also don't need 100%. I'm actually going to set it down to 30% just to give it a quick look. And the feed rate on this one, let's get a feed rate of 3,500 because I'm just going to go on a piece of paper. Okay. okay. And I'm not running uh, air pump at this moment because I'm just doing paper. If I was doing, uh, actually, I'm going to get some black paper which I happen to have stored in my black paper storage. And uh, we're gonna run this to home now. Oh, I've gotta slice it. So to slice the DXF, I do process DXF text and drill objects. I processed it. You look at the cheat code, you'll see indeed that it does say T41 right there, T41. So it's the right tool, power set for 30%. It looks like we're good to go. And uh, we're gonna come over here. So T41 equates to the 13 in your drop down. Yeah, it has to do with there's an index of heads, gotcha. and the index is 13. 13 is the head type. Uh, no, it is, we have an array of heads. There are actually 15 available in the standard right, software. But that has no relation to your position. Position no. 41 is not related to T13, your 13 in your drop down. Okay, I'm homing it so you can see where 00, zero is, and you notice we're 10 millimeters 10 in, 10 out. Yep. So we're going to go to here and we're going to set this light up. They're going to set that up about like this. And now the next thing I'll tell you is that we are uh, need to bring the Z up. And what's our focal distance on the CO2? On the CO2 is short. It's about four, 4 millimeters, 3 or 4 millimeters. Okay. So we got to come up, up, up. Yeah. There actually is a little keychain thing that comes with our laser but you're going to lose it so I might as well measure it and document it anyway so let me get my calipers out here I will tell you there we go oh, look at that 6.75 millimeters 6.75 millimeters okay and that's how far the no tip of the nozzle to the workpiece is Six and three quarter millimeters. Tip of the nozzle on that laser focusing array to the top of your work. Mm. Thank you. Go another. That's pretty good right there. All right, I'm going to hold that in from the sides. Can see that? Sure. Going from the right side. Okay. All right, so let's just cut a little quickness out of here. And it's it just going to leave a mark, huh? That's pretty hot. Well, of course it's hot. I just finished printing. There. And now we're, we're only running at 30% power, and we're running really fast. That's why it's not cutting all the way through. And I'm going to turn on the exhaust fan. I think. Right there. That's my pump. Yeah, you can see the, the stuff going out of there. Yeah, now you can see it being pulled out. Yep. All right, job finished. Wow, how do you like that? Now it tells you when it's actually finished. That's good. All right, so here is, that was just a little test right there. And now we see everything's working in order. Uh, but what we want to do is crank up the power and do some cutting of some other materials. So um, that was 30% power at three and a half meters a minute, which is roughly 50 millimeters a second, I think. Yeah, a little bit more, 60 millimeters a second. Uh, so that's two and a half inches a, a second right. for the feed rate. 
Now I have like, uh, I did some stuff yesterday, I was experimenting. Uh, I made these pads. Uh, it burnt the, the resist off of a circuit board. This is copper underneath it. And uh, it did the slickety split. So it just removed the solder mask? Yeah, the solder mask. So now it's exposed where you would put down your surface mount parts. Gotcha. There's a multiple variety of uses that I'm developing easy steps for them to do. Would you put down the solder paste before you loaded your component? Uh, I could do that with a syringe, uh, absolutely, but uh, I'm looking to make stencils, really, because it's so, so much. Yeah, it's there. so much better. Right. I mean, if you only have four pads, big deal. But when you get to the fine pitch stuff, you really want to have a silt screen. But I'm very pleased with the uh, the definition that this can hit. Okay. That was yesterday. I was playing with it. Okay. Here is your secret uh, material. We can't say who or what it is. But I think we should find out. And on this one, we can load a simple shape. Maybe I wonder what shape we want to do. Please don't tell me you're doing Sharky Shark again. No, I'm not going to cut him Sharky Shark. But I don't know. Well, you know what? We'll just cut it with that shape. That shape's a good shape. Yeah. And you could even jump in on your uh, G-code and change the speed. I don't know if this will catch fire. We'll find out. Yeah. This is 1,500 millimeters a minute and 20% power. Looks like it's not quite... It's cutting through it. It's just not... Uh, not as clean. Yeah, I think, you're, I think your material is just going to fray. That's what it looks like. Definitely cuts through it. It's fused, still fused. The thirty percent was much better. Well, so it held together better. Well, then we can run a second pass. Okay. Second pass at twenty percent power and fifteen hundred millimeters a minute. That's looking better. separation much better much better pattern I think it's just a few little fibers we run through a third time it would probably clear right out it was like two little strings I could have turned the power up because here's your 30 percent power but again there's a few stragglers this there is a few so I'm thinking that you want to go and they're very strong but if you're looking to cut out a pattern and have it automatically sealed off it looks like it does that right. this is obviously some kind of a nylon mesh of some sort or some poly polymer of that type. Because it's just like when you melt your nylon shoestrings. Right, right. You know. Anyway, this is what go. happens today in uh, Hyrule Labs. Yep. Thanks a lot.